Hey guys, so this is my 32 gig Wi-Fi iPad and in this review I'm going to be going over some of the features and uh, looking at this iPad. Wow, it's very light. Um, so at the top here we got the power button, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the side we got the volume control, mute button, and on the bottom we got the ports and speakers plugging into the computer. Wow, and as you could already see the accelerometer is going crazy here so that's pretty cool it's very 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 uh, exact it looks like and so looking at the dock down here uh, it's you know typically like your iPhone dock uh, except it's a little more 3D as you can see it looks like they're, the icons are sitting on a table and you know it, it's pretty cool because it gives you the, the feeling as if you're you're working on like a high definition TV while you're doing it and uh, it makes a more realistic feel to it and the icons kind of just hover there. You can see that there's a background that's changeable. And uh, it's very, very sensitive to your fingers. While I go through these pages, I'm going to show you. Let me just show you uh, some of the apps. These came preloaded uh, with this iPad. Oops. Go back. All right. And uh, let me just browse through that. I'm going to show you something really cool, the difference between uh, some of the apps on the iPad and some of the apps on the iPhone. Uh, for example, I'm going to open up Tetris, and uh, there's two Tetrises here. There's one that is for the iPad, and then there's one for the iPhone. And there is a difference. Although the iPad plays them both, this is the one that I'm opening up that's for the iPhone. And as you can see, it doesn't take the shape of the entire screen, but with push of one button, it becomes larger. Now, this isn't designed for the iPad. However, the iPad will play it. That's just what it will do with any normal iPhone game or, game or application. Now there's an application for specifically the iPad. This is the other Tetris that I'm going to open. Now you see it takes the shape of the entire screen, and you know the graphics are probably a little bit better. You can see, and it's more designed for the iPad. Now that's one thing that's different about the iPad, and it separates it uh, from you know the iPhone and iPod Touch that play the same thing. This has games and apps specifically designed for this system, which uh, will be probably a little bit more high high tech, high end and better and what's cool is that it plays the old apps as well that's uh, one very neat thing about this iPad so I'm gonna show you uh, one more thing here uh, this thing you know it just looks cool it's big light and you know there's not much I can say about it there's one negative to it though when you're on the safari uh, it doesn't have flash. That's one thing I have to say about this. Just you need flash. And what's going to come out? This is the Wi-Fi version, and AT&T is going to come out with the 3G version. Version, and that one is going to be uh, for for members who will sign up for a separate AT&T plan. And uh, I'll talk to you about that later. So let me just click on the iPod. And as you can see here, there's no like, there's no video. It just seems to be like a list of MP3s that you currently have loaded on it. Oops. Okay, that's a little embarrassing to close that. Alright, and so going back to the, the 3G one that's going to be coming out, you're going to have to sign up for a prepaid plan or a pay-as-you-go plan, which you'll have to pay more to use just access to 3G on its own. So there will definitely be charging to use that service, but it'll be cool to have. And there's just one more cool thing about this iPad. I actually got it for free and I put the link in the description of the website that I did that uh, so go ahead check that out and hopefully you'll get it for free also and come back to my channel subscribe to me and I'll keep you updated with more new things thank you